demonstrate how to make a pattern brush. So to start, make sure your brush window is open. If it's not, you can just go up to window. I realize it's cut off from the screen. If you click window, um, go ahead and find brushes. It's nice because everything's alphabetical. So make sure it's checked. If it's not, give it a check and you should be ready to go. Okay, so we are going to make a um, pattern brush for this belt. Um, for you guys, you know, we're not gonna get super detailed about the different little square shapes or rectangle shapes. What I want from you guys is to just make a rectangle just to kind of represent one of them. Um, I drew a rectangle. I actually hit the letter M, which is a keyboard shortcut to the tool. I don't know, I think it's called like keyboard shortcut because it's kind of like a marquee or marque. I don't even know, um, but it's the letter M. Um, I'm gonna switch it so it's just a fill. I'm also thinking black's a confusing color right now, so I'm gonna change it to a different color just so I could see the difference between what I drew um, versus, again, this is a um, pixel image, it's a screenshot, so I'm trying to digitize it right now. And I don't wanna get it confused with what I'm drawing. Okay, I'm gonna make this um, a little bit smaller, a little shorter right here. All right, I say, you know, that's good enough. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use for my pattern. And I wanna make a brush so that it automatically adds this pattern a few times. Um, I guess I will change this back to black. And then I'm going to make a brush. Um, all you need to do is select it, click drag and drop it into the brush palette. Okay, now you have to know the difference between these types of brushes. Um, this is going to make a pattern. It's going to repeat itself. So in this case, we wanna choose pattern brush. I do have another video about art brushes if you'd like to learn about that. I never really use scatter brushes in fashion illustration. It's sort of like the pattern brush. It just scatters it all like randomly. But um, really you do want to know how to make an art brush and pattern brush in fashion illustration. Those are the two most important. So I'm going to say okay. Okay we have lots of options. I'd highly encourage you to play with all of these options. Um, the first one I want to bring to your attention is the colorization. I made mine black, you know, it was blue. Remember when it was blue? I didn't bring it in as blue, I changed it to black um, because then I can uh, use this drop down menu and change it to tints and now I will be able to change the color over here in this toolbar. Um, I probably could have done that if it was blue. I just think the tints sometimes turn out funny so it's just safer to go with black. Um, if I don't choose this drop down menu and choose none, no matter what color you have over here, your uh, pattern will always be black. So sometimes you want it to stay black, but in my case, I like to change color. So I'm gonna change it to tints. Um, okay, let's see here, spacing. So I definitely want some spacing happening. Um, I don't know the exact measurement, it might be doubled. Um, so I can always play around with it and fix it later. I'm just gonna type in 200% and see if that's what I want. Scale, you can make it go bigger, smaller. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can play with, um, which I encourage you to just test it and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna say okay, and I'm gonna give this a test. So I'm gonna hit the letter P. I'm gonna click um, one anchor point right here. I'm gonna click another anchor point over here. I'm gonna click and drag, because there is a slight curve to this waistband. Um, I want a line, so I don't want a fill color. I want that to be none, and then I do want a stroke color. Um, but black, again, is going to be a little confusing to see. So just so we can see this a little bit better, I'm going to change it to another bright color. How about pink this time? Okay. I guess I'll select it with my black arrow. And then now I'm going to go to my brush palette. I'm going to find um, my pattern brush. I'm going to click it one time. There it is. There's my pattern brush. I'm going to hit the letter A. And I can move my anchor points if I want. So let's see here. Actually, the 200% is pretty good. It's not exact, but um, if I really wanted it to be exact, I could change it. Um, it looks like it's a little bit close, so I probably want to do more than 200%. I'll just double click it, click, click. I'm only doing this for learning because I feel like people might be asking. What if we do preview? There we go. Yeah, that's better. Me. What if I did 220? Is that better? Hmm. Is that too much? If I did 215. Does it have to be exact? It really doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, this is good enough. Okay. So I will say apply to my strokes that I have here. Um, okay. 
So again, this brush is black, but because my stroke is fuchsia, it changes colors. That was because from the drop down menu in the tints, so make sure it's selected if you want to change a color to something else. But, um, but here you go. I want I want to introduce you to the pattern brush. I really want you to use it for this belt. So don't stress out about trying to match all those little square shapes. I don't really care for this assignment. I think it's more important that you learn how to create a pattern brush. As always, let me know if you guys have questions.